Hey crafters, it's Darling Craftlet or Raven here, and this video is a Valentine's collab video with some amazing crafters and fellow members of Sweetorials. Today is also Pentastic Saturday, so you know what that means. I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable Mickey and Minnie Tsum Tsum pen. This pen is perfect for Valentine's Day and I hope you like it. Well, let's get started. First, you're going to need your clay. To know the exact colors and supplies I used to make this pen, check the description box below. You will also need your clay tools, a rolling pin, and or a pasta machine. First, roll your background color thinly. I chose a light glitter purple. I prefer to do this through my pasta machine on the second thinnest setting. Then you're going to need a bakeable pen, some pliers, and optional a paintbrush handle to assist in decorating. Make sure to remove the ink as this cannot go into the oven. Trim your background color to make straight edges. To get the appropriate length, line up your pen and cut away the excess. Then you want to roll and manipulate the clay onto the pen and cut away the extra. Pinch and blend everything together. If you would like, you can insert the paintbrush handle now to make things easier. Roll your pen with a flat hand on your work surface to even everything out. Round off the top of your pen. Be sure to pop any air bubbles with your needle tool or blade and smooth it out. Continue doing this until your pen is completely smooth. If you would like, you can also trim the bottom to make it even. Flatten a ball of clay in the same color as your background color slightly into an oval shape, then put it on top of the pen. Make sure to blend it all the way around. Now you want to cut out a thin strip out of a sheet of red clay. You're going to need three of these. Then you want to wrap it around the pen. Trim the extra and blend in the ends. Space out another two ribbons along the pen. For the bows, flatten and mold a ball of red clay into the semi-triangle shape. Sort of hard to explain, but you can see on the screen. Then make an indent two-thirds down the side with your tool. Keep reshaping and make three sets of two for the bows. They should look something like this. Arrange them on the pen on the ribbons. Gently press them into place and blend in the center. Then you want to flatten an oval clay into the middle. Blend that in at the bottom and at the top. Use your tool to create indents on the side of the center piece, as well as the middle of each side of the bow. Do this for all three and it should look something like this. To make the Mickey Tsum Tsum, roll out two rounded cylinders of black and red. Cut them in approximately two thirds the way down and put the larger black side and the smaller red side together. Then push and roll your new cylinders to secure it all together. For the face, grab your beige color and gently flatten a ball. Use your tool to create humps at the top like a heart. Also reshape the sides with your tool. Press it on the front of Mickey once it's in position. For Mickey's ears, flatten two balls of black clay. Arrange them both on Mickey's head and blend them all the way around. For extra stability, add some wire and some bacon bond to the top of the pen. After that's done, go ahead and add Mickey to the pen. For the feet, roll out two tiny yellow cylinders and add them to the side of the Tsum Tsum body. Make sure you gently blend them in. For the arms or hands, use cylinders of white. Put them in front of the Tsum Tsum and blend them in. For many, many of the steps are the same, except for, for the body, you want to use white on the bottom instead of red. Also, make sure you make mini smaller. Here is just a size comparison. For Minnie's skirt, cut a wide red strip of clay. Fold it staggered around Minnie's body. Blend it at the top of the skirt. You can also use your tool to create more drastic indents. Add a thin ribbon on the top of the skirt and trim away the extra. For Minnie's bow, make one smaller than the ones that were on the pen. Position the pieces on top of her head and blend in the center. Make sure you add a ball of red clay in the middle and blend it in the front and the back. Also, repeat the indents like on the other bows. 
Then you want to trim any excess wire to the appropriate amount. You can also add some more bacon bond. Now you can put Minnie into place. Place the arms and legs for Minnie and blend them in. Out of a snake of black clay, you want to cut out two sections for tails. Then position onto each of the Tsum Tsum bodies. Press them into place and blend at the tops. To clean and smooth out your pen, use some acetone or rubbing alcohol and some cotton swabs. Remember to use a new swab for each color of clay. Once it's clean, it's time to bake. You want to do so at 265 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 25 minutes or the temperature and time for your pen and oven. Once it's cooled, you want to do a partial glaze, but this is optional. I recommend a polyurethane or varathane gloss varnish and a soft acrylic brush. Before adding white paint on red, I like to glaze over all the red parts. That means I'm going to do just one layer on the bows and skirt. This is going to help the red clay not to show through the white paint as well as any color transference when you glaze later. While that glaze is drying, you can start painting on the other parts of the pen. To make it more Valentine's y, I decided to paint some red hearts on the background. Then I added on Mickey and Minnie's faces. You can also add some blush if you like. Once the glaze is dry, you can add white polka dots on the bows and the skirt. To make them stand out, I decided to do two layers of white paint on the polka dots. When your paint is all dry, glaze the entire pen. I did four layers for extra shininess. After your glaze is dry, you can reinsert the ink and you're done. This is how my Mickey and Minnie Tsum Tsum pen came out and I'm very happy with it. I just think it's super adorable and perfect for Valentine's Day. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite Tsum Tsum or Disney character. I would love to know. It was such an honor to be involved in this Valentine's collab organized by Sophie or Pink Sugar Cotton here on YouTube. Please take the time to watch the other tutorials by the other fantastic crafters that joined this collab. You can check them out by following the links in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more crafty goodness. And I'll see you guys all soon. Bye!